All right, new version with sound here. Let's play this in full. Of course I have superpowers. I have super strength. I can fly. I have laser vision. All the good stuff. It's just, you know, I got to keep it on the down low. Of course I have... Cool, cool, cool. I like it. I like the changes here. And you're mentioning in the email, you are okay with more drastic changes. I like the energy here a lot more. If you scrub through, you can see how there's more time spent up. And then, whoa, she goes in for that big one, which is funny. And then she goes down again. Now, dare I say, since this is so good, here is another suggestion. Of course I have super... Of course I have... Of course I have... I like all of that. I like the playfulness, the of course I have boring of the hand. Let me just bring down the volume. Of course I have superpowers. I mean, it's cute. I like that head shake. Careful. The only thing I would say from a technical point of view... It's a lot from this pivot up here, and it's okay, but at, then at this point it gets a bit weirder. It really pivots from here, and I think you can do slightly more in the lower neck so that when she goes over like that, it starts to feel straight and broken, where I would just give it a little bit more of a lean on that lower neck so that the head going over just takes that with it a bit more. It's a bit more connected. It starts to feel... A Bit too much. She also has a really long neck. It could also potentially be lower, but of course I have superpowers. I have super strength. Yeah, that to me stands out a bit there. Of course I have superpowers. I have super. I like how the fingers come back on this. It's all nicely done. Nice shapes here. Powers. I have super strength. I can fly. I have. What I would tweak, even though I like the offset, and I might be a bit noodly or back and forth in my comments here, but. What I like is the, the looseness here. Of course I have superpowers. I have super strength. But then when she says strength, it's almost too loose. I don't remember if that was the previous version. I apologize. I should remember. Right now it strikes me as loose. Because I like this. I can fly. I have laser vision. All that and how you go forward. A little bounce. Like all that's great. And I wonder at this point, just how far this arm goes. I would just keep the offset. But less bounce. And even on this one, maybe a tiny bit. Mainly because... It's loose here, and then it feels loose again, and then loose again. And I'm, you know, you know me, I always look for contrast. And I feel like superpower can go, but it works with the stronger. It's more like, Arr! and it's tighter. Like she's flexing the muscles and everything. Arr! It's tight, so it would be less bouncy. That's all. That that's my rationale just for that comment there. For strength, I can fly. I have laser vision. All the. And then, so my bigger comment for this was, I think everything is really in a really good spot. But since you're willing to make some changes, stuff is just. The good stuff is just this seems a bit flappy here that hands i know it's a bit of like a nervous thing of oh what should i tell her but maybe it's more of a she goes down and that hand doesn't go as far leaving a gap it's it's already a bit here and it's already oh gosh, she's starting here with her eyes but like my thought is what if it goes down and she has that hand just on the thigh resting a bit here and then instead of going down and that she can start a bit sooner and just do a tap, you know, like hands up or the, the wrist up and then and tapping a little bit. Just a bit more of a visible, maybe that's too cliche, a tap tap, but something where it's a bit more of a nervous thing because she's realizing, hmm, how can I tell her this? This seems a bit much for me in terms of the break. I would drag that uh, wrist less so it's not that feeling. I know I'm exaggerating with this line, but it just feels a bit broken. Even if, maybe if you rotate it and that line of the thumb is here, that would work. So that's all cute. You know, I got to keep it on the down low. So here's my comment for the last part. Was we have that nice change here that you made. I think that's really cool. So well done on that. And then what if, because you have this, that, energy, down, energy. And then she realizes, how can I say that? You know, I got to keep it on the down low. So what if she doesn't go down? Again, as always, you don't have to do this. I'm just throwing something out there to see what you think. What if she does this whole move, but she ends with this on... It's just, you know, I got to keep it on the down. Maybe not on down, because that's a bit too acting out worse, but just before. So maybe like in the here-ish area. So... Just, you know, I got to keep it on the down low. I got to keep it on... It's just... You know, I got to keep it on the down. You know, I got to keep it on the down low. I mean, unless you want to hit that on the down. But you I mean, it's almost almost like how the words are slower. It's just, you know, I got to keep it on. 
it's just and then and then a down low and i'm feeling what if you replicate that with the body again just to have her up and then as she says that and then the body goes slower down and then down low and then again playfulness is almost like by the end she realized yeah that's what i can tell her and it's going to be okay and then she does that wink but she is in that un insecure unknowing state through this whole thing going slower so that down happens you know i gotta keep it on the right before the down low maybe just a thought just because i really like the changes you made here and how it feels with just not going down, just having that always upright, that for contrast, and maybe that would be a nice contrasting moment too of a slower move to kind of reflect visually how she feels and how she's unsure. And then when she has that, you mean like that is almost the, all right, I got it again, I know what to say. And then she's a bit more peppy. I think that would be it. Careful with, she goes this low here on her. I know she's kind of a side thing and it's just there for context, but... She could have a little bit of a change, or just a bit to follow her eye. Not that we don't see pupils, but it feels like that's okay. And then she goes down like that. She could lower her head just a tiny bit. Down low. Low. Up. Down low. Up. I think it's just enough with her head nod. It's not taking away too much. I keep much. it on the down low. Maybe you watch out. Those arms are a bit floaty going up. They translate. It seems like IK arms. Of course. I have superpowers. I have super strength. I can fly. I and the same thing here. She's a bit wavy in her body. Like she's super sleepy. I think it's okay to have her take a couple frames out and make the head turns a bit more active. Really following. And have the body a bit less wavy. For strength. I can fly. Like those arms coming forward. Strength. Rawr, I can a bit wavy there. A bit, bit uh, even in timing. And it seems like they're all moving at the same time. And by all I mean two. <laughs> even that when she goes <gasps> on this. That could bring her arms back a bit sooner, maybe shoulders up a bit. She's a bit freaked out, just a bit. Same thing, that arm is a bit slow, oh, going up. All the good stuff is just... And I think this is a bit too soon. But she's still listening and then she waits. It's just... And then she says, it's just, and she doesn't have contact anymore. Eye contact, and she's waiting. I think that's when you will bring her arms up. She's listening, she realizes, oh, what's going on? And then she brings her arms up. I think it's a bit too soon. It doesn't quite feel like she's listening. She's just going through her acting beats. And that's kind of it. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.